Hey YouTube, Al here. So today we're going to be putting the Mexican stuff from the lefty pit guard into the pit guard from the robot strap. Um, so the holes in this were too small because they were for the horrible cheap mini pots and stuff. So I've had to ream them out to the spec for the CTS pots and the size is three eighths. This is a hand drill and I just hand drilled it from the back. My dad was helping. These are his tools, thanks dad. Um, so there you go, three eighths and I just hand drilled it from the back and got the flash off the back. <clears throat> and I'm gonna put the nice electronics in here. So that's really boring to watch. So we're gonna come back when I've screwed it all in and we'll need to do some rewiring on it to wire it right-handed. So we're gonna come back. So there we have it, it's all installed. New electronics in. I've still got to rewire it so it's um, right-handed, not left-handed, and that's what we're going to be moving on to next. So I'm going to have a look at some diagrams, and the next time you'll see this, I'll be rewiring it. Okay, so now I've got everything installed. I've put the switch in upside down, by the way. So it was lefty, but now it's effectively a righty switch. Um, I need to wire these pots the opposite way because they'll be wired in reverse. And I'm going to upgrade the capacitor from this ceramic type to the nice orange drops that I like to use. So I'm going to get on that. So I've so there's three logs in every pot. We go three logs in every pot, and I've just swapped over the inside and the outside on all of these. Uh, and again, this was put in upside down, so it should be bridged to neck, so it should be right. Um, there was a couple of spare ground wires coming off here that I've snipped off, but. I've put back the ground wires as it was, and these are all grounded already, so I think those spare wires coming off here were just grounding wires, but I've already got it grounded, and this is the ground to the bridge, got the jack installed and the wires there, so let's see if it works, and let's get the pot test going. Pot test! So let's do a pot test straight away, I'm getting a bit of hum, so looks like there's a ground that probably needs checking, um, so... <coughs> right yeah, so bridge middle yeah and neck so it's fine there noiseless there should be noiseless there but isn't and it's noisy. So there's a grounding problem. I'll just check the grounds, probably a dry joint, and it should be fine. Crappy solder joint. And that's the ground to the jack. Fix that, and the other ones all seem fine. I mean, yeah, the ones I've done all seem reasonable joints. I mean, they're not going to win the bloody awards, but hopefully they shouldn't be breaking or anything. So it's just that one. Yeah, it's not the neatest, but it's all wired up. Right. Right. We firm some of the joints. Take two. No, it's still a bit buzzy, oh well. Ugh. So, a bit of a ground issue, but there we go. It might stop for now, because it's been, been out for a while, so. So there you go, it's got a few ground issues, but all the controls work as they should. So, that's a plus. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to carry on with this bit by bit. Yeah. Thank you for watching. My name is Al. Like, subscribe, all that nonsense. And I'll see you next time. So until then, bye-bye.